it's time for July snack surprise box. Yes, it was a little late this month because they usually sent, they usually dispatch the boxes on the 17th of every month. But with COVID and delays uh, happening right now, they um, had to wait until the 24th of this month. But it's here now, just in time for the end of the month, yes. And I have a slight headache today, so if I'm not as energetic and into this box as you think I should be, that's the reason why. I'm gonna go for a lie down after I'm done here to try and get rid of it. It's not too bad, but you know, I don't feel as up to it as I should. But I wanna get this done and online before the end of the month. All right, so where are we going this month? We are going to <gasps> Greece. Yes, we're going to Greece. Never been. Never been, but you know, Greek foods. I'm probably not a big fan of Greek foods and here's what's gonna be in the box. If you're wondering why they have two sides, and I never talk about the other side. Basically, with Snack Surprise now, you can get the original box, which I get, and you can get the premium box, which has more stuff in it. But it's more expensive, and I want to stick with the original box because I don't want these videos to be too long, you know? So, and it comes with a drink. Yes, it does. They usually come with drinks. I'm quite happy with that. We've got... I don't know how to pronounce this. I'm probably not going to be able to pronounce a lot of things in this box, so you're going to have to bear with me this month. Lou, Luke's, Lau, Luke's, a sour cherry drink with water from Kefalovriso Spring. The traditional Greek taste since 1950. I'm not really a fan of sour cherries, and I'm suspicious of this because you know I have my allergies and stuff. But and there's all Greek writing on it. But why don't we have a taste? Focus. Mm. Okay. Nice little bottle. It doesn't smell sour. It's well, there's a slight sourness to it, but it's uh, red. Alright, let's have a try this. Alright. It doesn't smell appealing. A little bit sour. It's actually not bad. It could be sweeter. There's a sort of syrupy taste in it. It's a... Uh... It's quite nice. A bit like a sour... sour cherry aid. Yeah. I haven't had cherry aid in years when I was a child. Alright, so... Let's get started with snacks. So first we're going to start with something sweet. And it is... Come on, make a burger. Uh, basically, gummy sweets that you can make into a burger. Yes, we have these kind of things over here, but I've never tried them. The gummy sweets, and you can stack them and make a burger. So let's make a burger. Alright, what have we got here? That's going to be the meat. Here's a bun. Uh, look at that bun. There's a bun gummy. And we've got some lettuce. There's another bun. Buns. That's probably tomato. Alright, let's make a burger out of these. Alright, okay. Actually, I'm just going to taste one for now and see what they taste like. Then we'll make a burger. Nice. Um, a bit like Haribo, but slightly less sweet. So there's one bun. There's the burger. Tomato. Let's pretend that's tomato. Lettuce. And another bun. So make a tall burger. Tall burger. Squish that down. And. Chewy, as you can imagine, but good, sweet, chewy. Hurt my teeth a little. On this side, they're more sensitive for some reason. They were good. 
looking at that last one. There's something off about the texture though. I'm not wild about the texture. But anyway, what's next? That was another sweet thing. Ooh. Okay. Musto Musto Uh it's a cookie, a Greek cookie. Alright. And it's got grape molasses in it apparently. Okay, if you can pronounce that, good for you. Now I've said before that I'm allergic to grape soda, but I don't think grape molasses is a problem. I don't know. We'll have a little taste and find out. Alright. Oh, I'm curious about what this looks like. It's a soft cookie, not a hard cookie. Okay. It smells very gingery. I'm not a fan of ginger. Is there ginger in this? But there shouldn't be. It looks like a bagel. Yep. Hmm. Soft. Oh, God. Alright, I think I know what's going to be the worst today. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to all the Greeks have offended. But that is vile. Oh, God. That was... I don't... Chemically off grape, sort of gingery. That was horrible. I can't even describe. I can still taste it. Oh, I can still taste it. Uh, no, that was the worst thing. So far. I'm only on, on item two, and I've already found the worst thing. That was awful. Horrible chemically taste, which I can still taste. Oh god, gingery, bad grapes, like raisins. No, not good. I need something quick to cleanse me. Alright, we've got something savoury now. Good. These are oregano jumbo chips. Good. Oregano, I'm not really... I don't think herbs always make the best flavour for crisps, but... They look a lot like walkers, but they're probably not walkers. Yeah, I'm not really. I don't really think herbs make great flavors. They add to flavors, but on their own, I don't think they work. But they're okay. It tastes a bit like pizza sauce, but I imagine there's a lot of oregano in pizza sauce, so. Except you can't really taste tomatoes, because it's just oregano. I just need to get that taste of that cookie out of my mouth. Very nice. Much better than that horrible cookie. I think it's going to continue now. You're about to taste of that thing in my mouth. Alright, what's next? Ooh, something small. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. That is a completely different alphabet. Alright, well this is... A healthy traditional Greek snack made of tahini, which is crushed sesame paste. Oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh dear God. What? What is this? Lord. 
Alright, alright, alright. Oh god, let's just get it out first. It looks like a little block of cheese, but it's not cheese. I'm sorry. I don't think I like Greek foods. That is awful. Like a seedy taste. The texture's weird, it's like polystyrene. There's, there's a sugary taste in there. I think... I really don't like Greek foods. I'm discovering that about myself. I don't like Greek foods. I have to... Go wash my mouth out right now. Now, I have to take a break in the middle of this snack surprise for the first time ever and rinse my mouth out with water and possibly some alcohol. I shall be back momentarily. Okay, I think I can continue. I gargled some mouthwash and I think I'm ready. That was awful. That was, I can't even describe the taste. It was so awful. Seedy, polystyrene, chemically, dis just disgusting. I'm sorry, Grease. I'm sure you have very nice foods and you have very nice people and you have an amazing culture but I'm not a fan of your snacks Alright, let's find something else Okay, ooh, hello, biscuits These are 2001 crackers Okay, um, savoury crackers with zodiac signs Ooh, alright, these should be okay Let's find the Taurus, which is what I am Although apparently they've all changed now, so I'm now in Aries. So let's uh, find a Taurus. I'm not sure, that might be an Aries. Uh, that, is that a bull? That could be a bull. What do you think? Let's just call this Tori. Taurus, sorry. That's actually quite flavourless. Um, what's in these? Wheat. Just wheat. Wheat, wheat biscuit, yeah. A bit like a Ritz cracker. But less flavour. Well, I can manage to let no flavour rather than horrible flavour. They were fine, just nothing special. Sad. Alright. Next. Ooh. Another savoury thing. Seven days pizza. Uh, these are super tasty. I'll be the judge of that. Super tasty, crunchy, double baked bread chips dusted with cheese. Tomato. Cheese, tomato, garlic or olive, I got the cheese. Alright, these should be good. Cheese, crackers. Ooh, I can smell the cheese. Let's get one and show you. Ooh. <laughs> Little bits of bread. A little toasty. Mm, hard. Definitely crunchy. Extra crunchy. Crunchy double baked. Yeah, I can tell that's double baked. It's just like a little piece of toasted bagel. Mmm. So crunchy and dry. Oh god. I don't like this box. I don't like it at all. Oh god, what's this? Some little 
Hard candy with the taste of ouzo. Ouzo is a licorice flavoured liqueur, liqueur that has been the favourite in Greece for centuries. Might be able to make out, it says ouzo on the front there. <coughs> Get it to focus. Yeah, never had ouzo, but I've heard it's very strong. It smells aniseedy. That's actually quite nice. We used to get these sweets when I was a kid called aniseed balls. They're basically minty licorice, not not minty, licorice little hard balls. And it tastes exactly like this. If you remember aniseed balls, you'll know what I'm tasting right now. That was actually really good. There's a few more in there. There's a few more in the box. There's Three, two, there's two more in the box for me to enjoy. Good. Well, at least something came out came out good. All right, well, what's this? Another hard thing. And another thing, I'm not even going to try and pronounce. All right, Miranda biscuits. These are Miranda biscuits. Traditional Greek biscuits that combine great taste of fond memories of childhood. All right. Oh, these, they smell. They smell fine. They smell like a regular biscuit. <coughs> Alright, this should be fine. Yep. That's like reminiscent of a shorty. If you, if you know your biscuits, you know, you know what I mean. Or one of those cow biscuits. You know the biscuits with the cow on them? I think they're called milk biscuits. That was good. Regular biscuit. Thank God. Alright, there's two more things left. So, let's go with... Oh, this is chocolate. Good. And it's got Greek on it again. And... This is a Choco Fretta. Which is a wafer bar with crunchy wafer and chocolate. Alright, this should be fine. That smells chocolatey. Looks like a Rice Krispie square right now. Alright. Hmm. Good. Just save the rest of that. That was good. Chocolatey and white chocolate and wafers. You can't go wrong. All right. Last thing in the box. Another chocolatey thing. Leela Paws Pals is a alpine milk chocolate with strawberry yogurt filling and crispy rice pieces. So it should be good. I quite like yogurty things and chocolate. You don't, you wouldn't think it would work, but it does. Oh, I can smell the strawberry. Mmm. <coughs> that is nice. I'm gonna eat this whole thing. And we're all gonna walk.
Now the box is empty. You know what? That was my favourite thing. The Lila Paws chocolate bar was the best thing in the box. Thank God I ended on that. That saved the day. And the worst thing is a tie between this biscuit thing and this horrifying sesame snack. <clears throat> it smells disgusting and it tastes disgusting. When something smells bad and tastes good, you're surprised, but that was just a fail on all accounts. But I think your extra points go to this because it was deceptive. Because I actually thought that was going to be quite tasty and it was disgusting. So, yeah, this is my least favourite thing. The sesame thing, I knew that was going to be bad from the beginning. So, yes. That was Grease's Snack Surprise Box. Um, not a great success, but at least we ended on something good. Alright, where are we going to go next month? I don't know, but I'll see you then. Bye!